Today I'm going to show you how I create this social media post using Adobe Photoshop. So the assets I'm using in this social media post are in a PST and that PST you can download from the description. Once you download it from the description and you can open it in the Photoshop. So once you open it in the Photoshop you will be seeing something like this. So here you can see all the assets are in layers. So I'm going to create a new gradient by select this button and select gradient and I'm going to go here select this and select this color stop and select this color and I'm going to go with a little bit, a little bit of darker greenish color like so and then select OK and then select this color stop and select the color I'm going to go with a brighter green color and now I'm going to hold ALT and drag this color stop to right side like so and then select this color stop select the color and go with the middle lightish green color like so select OK and then select this and increase the opacity to 100 OK now I'm going to change the angle to 120 and yeah then select ok alright now I'm going to place it underneath all the layers alright now I'm going to open the eyeball of this half tone one and change its blending mode to multiply and decrease the opacity to 50 ok now I'm going to open the eyeball of this smartwatch and place it here and I'm going to con press ctrl T and scale it up like so and ctrl J to duplicate that select the smartwatch PNG and press ctrl T and right click flip vertical and drag it like so and place it somewhere like here ok alright now select the mouse button get the gradient tool make sure you have black to transparent gradient ok select this color stop must be black and this color stop must be black as well and this should be 0 in opacity ok and yeah paint it like so drag it like so ok alright so yeah like so ok and decrease the opacity to around 70 to 60 yeah and you can go here filter choose blur choose Gaussian blur and increase the blur to amount blur amount to something like fish something like 5 ok alright now create a new layer right below the smartwatch and get the brush tool right click choose soft round brush and adjust the shape like so ok and make sure you have black cast the foreground color and decrease the brush size by pressing left bracket key and create a shadow like so ok now here you can see a little bit of white edge on this watch to remove that select the watch hold control and press the thumbnail of this and go here select modify choose contract contract by 2 pixels and then select ok and select the mouse button now right click on it choose convert to smart object alright ok now I am going to open the eyeball of this abstract shape and get this magic wand tool so now I am going to remove the tick from this contiguous option and then select this white color ok and then select the mouse button and I'm going to place it right below the smartwatch and control T to transform it control minus to zoom out and yeah place it somewhere here like so scale it up a little bit like so ok alright now change its blending mode to oval soft light ok 
or right now create a new layer side above this gradient and get the brush tool and adjust the soft brown select the soft brown brush adjust it shape some shape to something like this and select this foreground color select a lighter greenish color like so as the foreground color and increase the brush size and paint it okay all right now create a new layer right above the gradient and get the brush tool again right click select soft brown brush and paint it like so okay all right so now i'm going to open the eyeball of this texture and place it right above the gradient and change its blending mode to soft light and i'm going to press ctrl t and increase its shape increase its size to something like that and yeah place it somewhere like so all right now i'm going to open the eyeball of this golden particles and place it right above the gradient fill and it change its blending mode to something like soft light would be good and yeah choose the filter choose blur choose motion blur and increase its blur amount to distance and increase the distance to something like 90 would be good now i'm going to open this half tone background half tone texture and change its blending mode to multiply and place it right above this golden right above this gradient and decrease its opacity to around 50 percent okay now i'm going to open the eyeball of the text group okay so now i'm going to create a rounded rectangle right below this text group okay like so all right choose the fill color as white okay now select the order now text and remove it from the group and get this order now text and select this rounded rectangle both of them select ctrl g press ctrl g ctrl j to duplicate it ctrl t to transform and try click flip vertical and yeah place it like so and select this mask button get the gradient make sure you have black to transparent gradient and drag it like so okay click on it choose cannot to smart object go here filter choose blur choose gaussian blur and increase the blur amount to something like 1.8 would be good okay now now select this gradient fill and create a new layer right above that and get this selection tool select make a selection like so and get this brush tool choose foreground color as black and select ok and right click get the hard drawn brush and paint it like so ok now press ctrl d to deselect it and change the blending mode to soft light ok now create a new layer and get this gradient tool and select this black to transparent gradient and drag it like so okay all right 